husband? Where's your husband? Is your husband? Yes. Come. You need to pray for this man. Amen. You understand? Amen. Because what you are going through is very tough in the house. There's no provision. You are praying for supply. Amen. It's not true. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. You are praying for breakthrough in the house. Amen. There's nothing. Amen. Eh? Amen. It's true. Is it true what I'm saying? True. It's very true. You are praying for God to provide you money. You want money to change everything in the house. Amen. It's Whatever you have there is very old things. Yes. It's not true. It's, it's true. true. Now you want to change everything. You want to change even this bed. Even this bed that I'm seeing, you want to change it. You want yes. to ch it's not yes. true. It's very true. Even this TV. True. It's not true. true. Yeah, even it's last last week I was, I was saying huh? we need to change the bed last week. The bed. Yeah. yeah. So now I'm looking on TV now, this one. <laughs> huh? Yes. <laughs> How is this TV? That it's not even working. Huh? It's not <laughs> working. So you need to change this. God bless you. Amen. I, it's like I'm speaking with people who are looking at me and say, hey, yeah, I really want to look at Professor Yana. Can't you profess is the best thing? Can you say in the name of Jesus? That is the best thing. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Listen, where is that brother I was speaking with? Where is he? The brother I prayed for. Because I was, you know why I prayed for you? I want to tell you. I heard people laughing at you. These people are laughing at you. They say you're going nowhere. And you are trying to make yourself a pastor. So now they will understand that the calling of God changes everything. My God, my God. They will, they will understand. Wow. I am Pastor Sidney Balisi. Uh, the woman standing beside me is my wife. We are from Botswana, Gaborone. And can you tell us the prophecy you received today from the men of God and also confirm it? Uh, the man of God started off by saying he, he, he called my wife and he said where is your husband after which when after she has called me he, uh, he talked about there being a problem in the house uh, that uh, there is lack in the house and he also talked about the uh, uh, issue of money lack, lack in the house of which we confirm that it is true uh, because and then he talked about issues of money uh, because we have been for the last even two years we have been trying to sell uh, our house so that we can improve our lives our, our livelihood and also this year we wanted to sell even two of including where we are staying so that we can build a better house but for the last two years nothing has been moving people would come they would promise but they would they would not buy. Yeah. These challenges are affecting us because we had plans that we needed to accomplish. We had dreams that we want to accomplish. We are raising the children um, that we want them to grow in a certain environment. So for us, we needed to build a bigger house so that we can be able to accommodate both our children and the children that we are raising through our ministry, Tabernacle of Mercy. But there's been frustration because uh, we haven't been having sufficient to especially build the house. I would say we, it's very important to persist and to keep on believing. Because even when these houses that we are selling to improve our livelihood, even though, like, like I said, they were not going, we kept on praying and believing that uh, things will change. And including the issue of ministry, we, we, we are so much believe that the Lord will use us because we didn't call ourselves. We believe and we know that the Lord... Has